cool green, rap and hip hop, artist, slash songwriter, from Baltimore, Maryland. My speakers go. Oh man, Scarface, Pop, uh, Woo, uh, Nas, all back in that, er that early 90s, mid 90s, late 90s. Yeah, that was when I was growing, when music was growing on me. <laughs> I would say everything, but uh, these days it's changed. But uh, I like how it began. Took uh, the pain and struggle, and we put it to song. You know what I mean? We took uh, the joys and put it to song. You know, the, the boom bap, all that. Uh, I love a, a good beat. Love a, a, a producer who can give you something like a trap beat and then give you some boom back. Like the difference? Okay, okay. Well, the difference between the music that's out and the music that I make is I'm not making trendy music. I'm making like what I feel at the time or what comes to me creatively. And, uh, I think the major difference is the way I put it together. I mean, you could take a song like My Speakers Go, and it will more so compare to today's trap music, turn up type music. But uh, at the same time, I'm still trying to keep that element of hip hop in it, um, that element of lyricism. You know, I, I try to maintain lyricism every time. It's actually funny. It wasn't a real big inspiration, but um, I was 12 years old. It was Christmas Eve, 1998. I was visiting my peoples in Indiana, and my big cuz said to me, yo, we starting a rap label. Yo, if you can rap, you can get down. I simply said, okay, and went and wrote my first rhyme. <laughs> And I don't know what led me to continue, but I kept going. I just want you to feel it, you know. I wanted to apply to your life as I've made my life apply to these songs, you know, from time to time. You know, if uh, you're going through a bad day and I got that song that just sounds like I, un I understand everything you're going through, you know, I want you to listen to that. You're having a great day and I got that song that just makes you feel like Lift your spirits. I want you to listen to that. <laughs> I'm going to say uh, Tears. It's produced by uh, my cousin, Chubby Boy. Um, Has a Sade sample in it from King of Sorrow. Um, that song is just more heartfelt. If anything, I wouldn't... I would rather be recognized for, for a song that I really put my heart and soul into. Um, yeah. <laughs> I think that would be the one. Don't turn me down. Twig it up. We live in life. Turn me up.